Hello everyone, I'm Ben Williams from Old Tin Cup Habitat Restoration Enhancement and welcome to this week's Wednesday Weed of the Week. Now I asked on my Facebook page for some viewers and some friends of mine to send in some plants that they've been seeing or having trouble identifying. Um, and actually my good friend Eric Zielinski, I said, couldn't find one. I'm up here checking on a different food plot and I found one. Um, this is Devil's Beggar's Tick or it's also referred to as Spanish Needles. Um, it's a pretty easily identifiable characteristic plant. It doubly comes off uh, the stem with a main uh, leaf and then smaller leaflets coming off the stem as well. Um, I know that's not the correct terminology for it, but it comes off and pairs off the stem opposite of each other. Um, it's got a reddish hue to it usually. Um, you can see the underside where it doesn't get the sun. It is green. Um, this one has like little small stick tights on it, hence the beggar's tick um, or Spanish needles. It has little fine seeds on it. Um, and probably in about, I'd say October or so, you'll really start seeing the seeds form. Um, this one's just starting to get ready to flower out. This has small yellow flowers on it typically. Um, these aren't quite opened up yet. Um, and as you can see, if you look at this, we're in an unmaintained field right here. This is actually an old cornfield that we've done an experimental plot where we do our management Mondays. This is our buckwheat experiment plot. And it's right here on the edge. And look at all the deer brows on this. Every one of these ends has been nipped off. So this is a desirable plant. It is a native plant as well. Um, you're gonna see this a lot in cultivated field edges, much like we're sitting on right now. Um, I would call this, it's listed as a low to moderate. Um, I definitely list it as a moderate deer preference of forage. I mean, look at that. All the new growth on that, where all the energy and nutrients are, is being nipped off by the deer. So this is feeding wildlife, and it's something that's here naturally, and I didn't have to plant it. That's coming up naturally. So letting your fields go a little bit, can be beneficial as long as you're identifying what's out in them. Make sure you got the right stuff out there or stuff that doesn't really matter and, you know, can help the wildlife as well. So a little bit of lack of maintenance could actually improve some of the forage on your food plots. So thanks everyone for tuning in to this Wednesday Weed of the Week. I'm Ben Williams from Old Tin Cup Habitat Restoration Enhancement. If you like this video, please give us that thumbs up. Drop your comments down below if you've seen Devil's Beggar's Tick in your fields or food plot edges. And uh, I want to thank everyone for tuning into this. Don't forget to share this content around to your friends and family or on social media. Subscribe to the channel. I'd really encourage that so you get all of our updates for our Weed of the Week Wednesdays, Management Mondays, and Food Plot and Forestry Fridays. Um, we're gonna probably going to do another segment here coming up as we get closer to deer season, um, but I haven't decided to release that information yet. So make sure you subscribe so you get all the updates when those new series go live as well. So I'm Ben Williams from Molten Cup Habitat Restoration Enhancement, and I'll see you all next time here in the field.